Hello everyone. My name is Aurangzeb and today we shall talk about the salient features of the US Constitution. So let's start the video that the concern for the new nation's political stability led leading revolutionary leaders to draft a new constitution in 1787 which worked out compromises between large and small states and between northern and southern states. The United States Constitution was groundbreaking in numerous ways establishing a new government the likes of which the world had never seen indeed the very famous features which made it unique have also contributed to its longevity these features also defined the framework of american constitution government and politics establishing the united states of america its national government and outlining the relationship between that government the people and the US states the us constitution has the oldest written national framework of government in the world means the oldest constitution which is considered to be written is of the american states at the end of the 20th century there were about 159 other national constitutions in the world while the united states had ever has been governed by a single framework of government for over two centuries france in contrast has had 10 separate and distinct constitutional orders including five republics two empires a monarchy and two dictatorships in almost every way imaginable the united states has been radically transformed over the past two centuries it's just its population has soared from just 4 million to nearly 300 million the federal budget has risen from 4 million to 1790 to over 1 trillion today yet the basic framework of government has remained unchanged the most significant feature of the united states constitution are the establishment of the rule of law the creation of a federal system with a supreme national government the separation of governmental powers into three branches that check and balance each other It's very brief document and contains about 400 4000 words and at least 12 uh, 10 12 pages. It consists of a preamble and seven articles only. Three of articles are related to structures and powers of legislative article 1, article 2 executive, judiciary article 3 and the other four dedicated to position of states. Article 4 modes of amendments article 5 supremacy of national power article 6 rectification article 7 it also holds that constitution is the supreme law of the land article 1 is the longest and cannot be amended like other constitutions in it, it also consists of a preamble a single uh, sentence that in, introduces and defines purpose of the uh, document second salient feature about the us constitution is rigid constitution Another feature of the American Constitution is that it is rigid which means that it cannot be amended by the Congress by the ordinary procedure the procedure is very uh, intricate and difficult the procedure to amend constitution consists of two steps step number 1 a uh, proposal for amendment and the second is ratification of a proposal let's talk about the first pro, uh, proposal for amendment and that is uh, there are two ways to propose for amendment 
either two third uh, means 67 percent of both houses senate and the house of representatives shall propose for amendment to constitution or on the application of legislature of two third 67 states shall call a convention for propo proposing amendment and uh, the other part is ratification of a proposal. The amendment shall be ratified by the legislature of three-fourth of all the states or by the convention of three-fourth of states. It is because of this rigidity that the American constitution has been amended only 27 times in over 200 years. It is therefore rightly remarked that if the founding fathers were to return to life today, they would not find it difficult to recognize their handiwork. Another salient feature of the U.S. Constitution is popular sovereignty. The American Constitution establishes the popular sovereignty of the people. This means that in the United States, the people rule. They have delegated their powers to the government and the government owes its authority to the will of the people. The principle of popular sovereignty is states stated in the preamble of the constitution is we the people of the we the people do ordain ordain and establish this constitution for united states of america this means that the ultimate seat of the authority in the united states is the american people another very important feature is bicameral legislature the constitution of the u.s constitution um, u.s America provides for bio, bio, bicameral legislature according to the Article 1. All legislative powers are vested in Congress. In United States, Congress is the parliament which consists of two houses, House of Representatives and the Senate. House of Representatives is regarded as the lower house and the Senate is the upper house. Now let's understand the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives has 435 members who are elected by the people for a period of two years on population basis. A state with a larger population gets more seats in this house, like California has 53 members. Senate. The other part of the Congress is the Senate. The members of the Senate are elected by the state legislatures. Each state has two senators, which means each state has two votes in Senate. These senators are elected for a period of six years. The total number of senators is 100, as the total seats are states are 50. Now let us understand the separation of power in the United States Constitution. This is very important feature that is highly discussed every. Uh, in every area of the world and uh, is recognized or it's uh, adopted by the every constitution of the world. So let's have some overview about the separation of powers. The objective of the constitution was to create a system of government that would control men's lust for power and safeguard individual liberty. American constitution is based on the principle of separation of powers. The framers of the constitution believed that the separation of various organs of the government was necessary to ensure individual liberty. American constitution is based on the principle of separation of powers. Checks and balances. This is an, another important feature of the US constitution. Checks and balances. The framers of the American constitution were aware about uh, the department if it uh, if left unchecked would become oppressive they therefore introduced checks and balances in the constitution the separation of powers confirms the system of checks and balances this system prevents misuse of powers the powers are divide, uh, provided in such a way that it provides a check upon other institution judicial independence the direct consequence of separation of powers is the doctrine of judicial independence in United States, all judicial powers are enjoyed by Supreme Court and other federal courts. No other office can influence its independence. Federal system. In parallel terms, the single most important feature of the Constitution is probably the federal system it created. Without the inclusion of the federal principle, the Constitution would certainly have been rejected at the Convention. Even if it had survived there, it would have been soundly 
defeated in the battle of rectification. In terms of daily operations, the government, national state government relations have a more profound impact on the more aspects of the political politics and the economy than perhaps any other feature of the American constitution system. So you can read the other definition and continue it by reading uh, by pausing the video. So let's uh, talk about the presidential system. The constitution provides the presidential form of government. Article 2 provides the powers, election and other and their matters related to president. President is elected for a term of four years and it is not and is not answerable to Congress and cannot dissolve Congress. He has a cabinet to assist him in running his executive powers. Fundamental rights and liberty. But before it, let's talk about the republicanism. The constitution calls for a republican system with the president as elected head of the state. The constitution drives its authority from the people and is the supreme law of the land. Neither center nor states can override it. Fundamental rights and liberty. Another important feature of the American constitution is that it ensures certain fundamental rights for every American citizen. He cannot be deprived of these rights by any law, lawful authority. The first 10 amendments to the constitution are called Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights provides for the constitution uh, for the rights of a person's property, liberty, freedom of speech, press, religion, and assembly. Dual citizenship. The constitution provides for a dual citizenship. Every American citizen is entitled to be, to the right of a dual citizenship. For all, he has he is the citizen of America, and secondly, he is the American citizen of the that state in which he lives. The feature of dual citizenship was introduced in the American Constitution by Fourth Amendment. System of Spoils When a president is elected, he does appoint a public offices. In, if in elections the president is elected who is of the opposition party, he dismisses the public offices, office bearers and makes fresh appointments. Now judicial review. This is very much uh, important feature in the US constitution and not only in the US constitution but in every constitution of the world. So I think they have adopted from this constitution in the written form. Let's talk about the judicial review. In an, an important feature of the American constitution is the power of judicial review. The Supreme Court in US is uh, supreme not only in theory but uh, also in practice. In UK, no court can challenge the power of the parliament. However, in the United States, all the laws passed by the Congress and state legislatures are subject to judicial review. Limited government. Another important feature is the doctrine of limited government. Unlimited powers of the government would make them uh, despotic, which would lead to tyranny and violence in UK. The parliament is supreme whereas in the United States the constitution is supreme and the powers of the government organs are limited. Rule of law. The most profound accomplishment of the American framers was establishment of a document that is supreme law of the land. No monarch, political leader or liar can create law simply by declaring something to be law. In the United States, the constitution is king. Only laws passed through the mechanism established by the constitution are valid. Furthermore, any law that is inconsistent with the limitations in structures or principles established by the constitution is considered by definition invalid. The constitution is considered the supreme law of land both because of its content and because of its authority is derived from the people. The concepts and ideas of the constitution are the higher law in the United States of America, things which a government cannot create or destroy. Among these concepts and ideas is the notion that people are sovereign and that legitimate governments must be based on popular consent. Because the constitution was ratified by the representative of the people, it was it is a document in which both word 
वर्ड एंड डीड क्रिएटेड बाय अ बाय एंड फॉर द पीपल फॉर वी द पीपल वाइल द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज द सुप्रीम लॉ ऑफ द लैंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्पेसिफिक डे टू डे रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन दैट ब्रिंग ऑर्डर टू अमेरिकन सोसाइटी आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट सेल्फ दीज ऑर्डनरी लॉज आर क्रिएशन ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ द कांग्रेस दैट लेजिस्लेचर एंड सिटी काउंसिल वट इज द नोशन दैट लॉज आर मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैन द ओपिनियन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल पीपल Even important people applies to these laws as well. In America, no one is considered to be above the law. In fact, deliberately trying to avoid the law through deception or bribery are crimes in and of themselves. Even a president who violates the law cannot can be held accountable for doing so. Voting rights. The Constitution includes included no property qualification property qualifications for voting or office holding like those found in the state constitutions drafted between 1776 and 1780. In a republic republican society, office holding was supposed to reflect personal merit, not social rank. The Constitution didn't. bar anyone from voting it only said that voting for members of the house of representatives should be same in each state as their state's requirements for voting for the for the most numerous branch of the legislature in other words qualifications for voting were left to the individual states the new jersey constitution allowed women to vote if they met the same property requirements as men now let's talk about the very much important feature that is constitution and slavery the word slave doesn't appear in the constitution the framers consciously avoided the word recognizing that it would sully the document nevertheless slavery received important prospect protections in the constitution The notorious three fifth clause, which counted three fifths of the slave population in a point uh, apportioning representation, gave the South extra representation in the House and extra votes in Electoral College. Difference between Articles and the Constitution. The main difference between the Articles of Confederation and the Constitution is that the articles called a confederate style of government whereas the constitution outlined a federal form of government governance the divergence between confederate and federal models occurs when sovereign power is granted in a confederate government that ultimate power resides in the regional and local governments the central government only has a, has as much as much power as a regional governments are willing to give to it now let's head towards the conclusion that uh, collectively the provisions of the constitution sought to establish a new covenant for the american people more than at any other time in political history the people of a nation had the opportunity to convert uh, covenant with another to govern themselves the arrangement to which they were being asked to pledge their mutual support was based on view of government far different from the adversarial view that they had uh, they had become accustomed to instead of viewing government as the enemy the new constitution challenged the people to view the government as their as the protector of liberty